Top tip for baker's percentage, your flour amount is always 100%, okay? Hopefully that will become clear as I go through this. So for this basic recipe, 500 grams of flour is 100%. 340 grams of water is 68%. Now, how did I work that out? I can either say I want a 70% hydration or I want 68% hydration, at which point in the calculator, I say 500 grams times by 68%, and we've all got the percentage on the calculator on our phone, um, and that works out at 340 grams of water needed. Or I can know that the recipe is 340 grams of water, so I can work out backwards what the percentage of the water is in this recipe by saying 340 divided by 500, equals 68. So I will know then that that's 68%, okay? Salt is always one to 2% of the flour weight. So for this, I've got 500 grams of flour, so I can either use five grams minimum or a maximum of 10 grams of salt. I tend to go somewhere in the middle and go with about seven grams of salt in my recipes. And then yeast is a little bit more complicated to calculate, but let's say five grams of instant yeast, which is what I would normally use in 500 grams of flour, that's 1%. Be aware that the yeast can, percentages changes depending upon whether you're using fresh yeast, instant yeast, or active dried, and that yeast can vary. If you're using a pre-ferment, you'll need a lot less. Uh, than five grams of instant yeast for the recipe because the pre-ferment builds the yeast during the long, slow fermentation of that pre-fermentation. And also, you don't always need as much yeast as the recipe tells you. If you reduce the yeast, you extend the fermentation time, which improves the flavour of the bread. Okay, so sometimes I will use two grams of instant yeast and just allow the bread to take longer to rise. So the yeast is a bit of an anomaly within baker's percentages. Baker's percentages is most important for the water and the salt amount, okay? And the yeast, it will rise regardless of how much yeast you use. It will just take longer if you use less and it'll work quicker if you use more. Just always, I would say, use less yeast Use as little as you can get away with because that will improve the flavour and the texture of the finished bread. If I want to double my recipe, I would say, okay, so I'm going to double it. So 500 times by two is one kilogram of flour. That is 100%. Remember, the flour is always 100%. So to work out how much water we want, we can either just double that because it's easy or you can say, okay, this is 68% hydration. So what is 68% of 1,000? So 1,000 times 68% in a calculator equals 680 grams. So 680 grams of water. And then one to 2% of that. So what's 1% of um, 1,000 is 10 grams up to 20 grams of salt. And then in the yeast, I would use exactly the same as I was using for the 500 grams because yeast uh, doesn't need to be doubled if you're using a double recipe, okay? It will work, but it'll just take a little bit longer to rise the bread, but not that much longer. This is when it starts to get, if you're bulking up a lot or in complicated ways. So to say, okay, I want to use, to make three loaves of this recipe, then it becomes a little bit more sensible to use the hydration, the baker's percentages to work out the hydration, etc. So to make three loaves, I say, right, three times the flour amount is 1,500 grams of flour. That equals 100%. So by water, we know, because I worked backwards with this, that it's 68%. So I say, 1,500 times 68% equals 
1,020 grams of water to get exactly the same hydration as this. Okay, I'm going to need that amount of water in that amount of flour. And the salt is one to 2%, so 1,500 times by 1% is 15 grams and 1,500 times by 2% is 30 grams. That's how you do it. And then if you look at, you want to make a drier dough this time because you want to, you know that this dough is quite sticky and you want to make a baguette which is more difficult to shape, then you think about reducing the hydration percentage of the water. Okay, so you could reduce that hydration percentage down to 65% and make the calculations based on that. Okay, so you'd say 1,500 grams times 65% and work out how much water you'd need for that. If you wanted to make a ciabatta and you wanted a much wetter dough, say you wanted 85%, that's when you look at how much flour you've got. So say you've got a kilogram of flour, 1,000 grams times 85%, it's going to be 850 grams of water that you need for an 85% hydration. So understanding baker's percentages can really help you understand dough, how to double up or uh, multiply recipes. It can help you understand hydration. And once you understand hydration percentages, you can it works out in your head. You're thinking, ah, this is what a dough at 68% feels like to mix. This is what a dough at 55% feels like to mix. This is what a dough at 85% feels like to mix. 